What's up guys, this is Chris, Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from the side of my house. Um, as promised, I want to talk to you guys uh, about flipping a bike today and how to do it. Um, so let's get, kind of get right to it. The bikes I'm going to show you today are single speed bikes for the most part. They're steel frame and um, I've been flipping bikes for like the past uh, eight years I guess. Um, but about five years ago, well no, the first five years were just strictly bikes. And um, I just recently branched out into like other different items in hustling like three years ago. So the bread and butter of what I started with and what I learned hustling was like with the bikes. And um, so I'm going to show you how I kind of did it and what I look for. So let's go to the first bike right here. This right here is kind of your standard beach cruiser bike. Yeah, um, this is made by like I think Greenline or something like that. Um, it's a bike I found at a pawn shop for like 70 bucks. And this bike I expect to make about 50 to 100 bucks on when I sell it. It is a standard cruiser bike. Uh, it has like a really big open cockpit right here. It's got kind of what they call balloon tires and it has fenders. And um, single speed bike with a coaster brake. Okay, a coaster brake means when you pedal backwards it brakes. Um, these kind of bikes have really, really, you want to get in really low. Um, I bought this bike for a specific reason actually, that was to show it in this video of what a pawn shop $70 cruiser bike in really good condition looks like, and that's this one. Now over here we have a bike that's the Schwinn Admiral. This bike right here is um, also a cruiser bike, but it's not really like a beach cruiser type bike. This one right here is more of an urban, like uh, city type cruiser, you can see with the rack in the back. Um, it is a full steel bike. It does have gears. It's not a single speed, but um, this kind of bike you can find in a pawn shop, and I found this one for about 100 bucks. I can make about 100 on this one, maybe 150 at the most, but it is in terrific condition. But I just got to clean it up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's like an urban kind of cruiser. This belongs more on roads, you know, and this and that. You can tell because the tires are much skinnier. All right, the next three bikes are bikes that I actually own. These bikes I did find at either a garage sale, actually a Goodwill, or at a pawn shop, but they're pretty rare to where I added them to my collection. I love them a bunch, and I've actually worked on them, um, made them into like these little custom looking bikes, but they're pretty cool. So let's look at the first one. This right here is a Cycle Pro uh, custom cruiser frame. I found this at a Goodwill for about 10 bucks. It was in terrible condition, had rust all over it. But as you can see, um, when you get the rust off, it's a beautiful bike. Um, Beautiful frame, all steel, um, single speed with a coaster brake, okay? Um, and it just looks awesome. Of course, when I bought it, it didn't have the yellow tires. It just looked terrible. It didn't have the seat, didn't have these handlebars. It looked more like a traditional cruiser type bike. Um, but I've done a lot of work to it. And, um, you know, picking it up for 10 bucks, putting about maybe 40 or 50 into it um, with like tires, seat, handlebars. Um, I can sell this thing for like three to four, like all day long. It's a pretty cool bike, a very, very rare frame. Um, right here, I found this one at a pawn shop. This one right here was $120 at a pawn shop. It's an Electra, I believe it's a Streamride it's from the Streamride series, yeah. Um, it's a black steel frame bike with a dual crown fork. It's a fork that clamps on here and it clamps on here. It's called dual crown. Um, I put on some cool white wall tires. I cleaned it all up, made it look, made it look all badass. And um, it has these uh, ape hanger handlebars you can see right here, which look like you know, they belong on motorcycles. But anyway, this bike's amazing. Uh, 120 bucks. I probably put I don't know maybe 20 bucks in tires on this thing, and I could sell it for like three to four hundred dollars. I can make a killing on a bike like this. Let's talk about another Electra that I found at a pawn shop. This one right here was also about 120 bucks. This is an Electra Rally Sport steel frame. Um, it looks like a beach cruiser bike, but they're just more like. I don't know, stylish cruisers I want to say. Electra is one of my favorite companies to deal with. I love um, the Electra Cruiser line, all of them. And uh, this one this one and the one you saw before are out of production bicycles, so they are kind of getting rare. They can sell anywhere between $300 and $400. I've put about, collectively, maybe 60 bucks into this bike. So I'm like 180 bucks into it, but I could sell it for like three to four. Um, I'm never going to sell these bikes. I love them and they belong in my collection. So. Um, Let's go back and talk about like how do you spot the right kind of bikes and like what to look for and everything. So let's go over here and um, I'll show you kind of a beginning hustler what to look for on a bike kind of deal. All right, so when you flip a bike, you want to look for, well, first of all, you want to check the tires, okay? You want to check the tires to make sure that they're in decent condition and uh, decent enough to sell. You want to check the tubes. Of course, you really can't check the tubes when you look at the bike, but if it has a flat tire, 
you know, one of two things. Either that tube is flat or they just let the air completely out of that tube. Um, but either way, the only way you can kind of make sure that the tubes are okay is just by airing it up. You can air them at a pawn shop, and if you're at a Goodwill, you could bring your own pump if you want to, but, um, you know, a good bike tire will hold air in the first five minutes, and you'll know. Um, you want to look for bikes, if you're a beginning hustler and you want to get into bikes, um, you want to get into a bike that have like coaster brakes or hand brakes, and they're like typically single speed bikes. Um, those are the easiest type of bikes to work on. Um, and with one gear and just a coaster brake, there pretty much are never any problems with these kind of bikes, ever. You also want to do what's called a wheel chew. You want to check the wheel, you want to spin the wheel to make sure it's not wobbling, you know, every now and then. Um, but that's what it's called, wheel chew. Um, chewing a rim is a little bit more, it's a little tougher of a thing to learn. You can learn it though, but as a beginning hustler and not knowing anything about bikes, you're going to want to um, at least spin the wheel because if it has a really nasty wobble, well guess what? That's like $17 at a, punch, uh, at a bike store just to get that wobble out of that rim. So you got to factor that into like what you anticipate as making us profit and you got to factor that into your complete price of the bike together. Um, now when you buy a bike, it varies depending on the channel that you find to buy the bike you're going to be paying a certain amount of money for it. Now, if you buy it at a thrift store, you expect to maybe buy it for 20 to 40 bucks. That's kind of like my cap is 40 bucks at a thrift store. If you buy it at a garage sale, you get a little bit better deals. You can buy them between 10 and like 30 bucks typically, like for these single type, single speed cruiser steel frame kind of bikes. If you buy them at a pawn shop, you're going to find some of the more rare ones and some of the cooler ones. They're going to be between 50 and 100 bucks, okay? But when you look at the brands collectively, like I show you with Pearl Snap shirts and um, Dooney and Burke purses, and I show you with like cowboy boots, there's certain brands that will return pretty good money almost every time you find these brands. Those are older Schwinn's, Electra, Felt, older Raleigh's, and general beach type cruisers. When I say general beach type cruisers, I'm talking about um, if you can get those like sub 20 bucks or about 20 bucks and below. Well, that's what it meant. Um, that's what you're kind of looking for, general beach type cruisers. Um, because people will pay about 60 to like maybe 150 for a general beach type cruiser. You start messing with these older Schwinn's, Electra's, and Felt's, you're talking 200 to 300 to $400 all day long for those kind of bikes, all right? So if you do like these videos, and there are gonna be more bike videos to come up because we're gonna discuss vintage mountain bikes, we're gonna discuss mountain bikes all together. Um, and we're gonna go into like maybe road bikes and classic steel frame road bikes, which make a ton of money. So if you do like these videos, thumbs them up, and uh, comment, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, see ya.